Hello my friends, this is Donna Davis Bell from YouTube and Shiny Treasure Designs on Etsy Shop and Inspired to Create on Facebook. And I have for you today a journal that I have just finished. Um, I did make it with my Teacups, Paris, and Roses digital kit. You can find that in my Etsy shop for $4.99. Um, this journal will be listed for sale as well. Um, and let's start with, as you can see, I had to stop because it got so thick. There's so much in this journal. Um, so I finally had to quit because otherwise it wouldn't close. I mean, it's already, as you can see, quite, quite chunky. It's a chunky monkey. <laughs> so let's get started. I made this beautiful. Let's start with the Chunky Charm. Has the Eiffel Tower, perfume bottle, Swarovski and glass beads. There's no cheap beads on here. They're all nice. Um, so it's got the crown, the perfume bottle, the Eiffel Tower, just in just about all of them are removable, so you can take them off and use them on other things. So there's that. Um, you can see that where it's sewed in, it's sewed in nice and neat and straight and even. Okay. I'll push that up towards the top. Beautiful image of a beautiful Victorian lady on the front. I have named her Isabel. After a wonderful lady I used to know, there is a story plot to this. She comes of age. She's a debutante. She comes of age. She is, you know, in in the 1800s when they came of age, they went to, they had like a coming out. They were considered debutantes. And there was a debutante ball that um, they would go to. Um, so she comes of age and she goes to the debutante ball. Okay, and that's all I'm going to tell you at this point. <laughs> anyway, I printed her out on some fabric, um, framed her out with some beautiful lace, some beautiful pearls, some cream colored lace here, a little beautiful flower, some rhinestones, and a little stick pin here, and some little applique lace there. And this is what the fabric on the cover looks like. I love this fabric. This is the most beautiful fabric. I have ever seen and I absolutely love it. I use it sparingly. I have hoarded it. I just, I absolutely love it. But I had to use some of it for this journal. So now when we open it, and it is a hardcover, I did use a hardcover book and I covered it. Um, beautiful green Victorian print here. Beautiful bridal slice. The print from this pulls from the greenish teal color in here okay this is the first page of the digital kit and I went into Word and made this little ta uh, tag this journal belongs to um, so whoever gets it can write their name framed it out with some lace beautiful flower and a little dangle and we have a little Swarovski dangle here okay beautiful lace down the side when I printed out my papers, um, I designed the papers, but then when I printed out my kit, um, I printed it out on the white side of a printed paper that I had, and I love it. It's like a Victorian print, and I love the way that it came out. So here, this little fold out, let me take these out, a little bookmark and a little tag there. And this folds out just like this. Okay, for eight and a half by eleven writing space. Okay, little bookmark that I created with some lace at the top. Little piece of paper tucked there, tucks down into here for your little bookmark. And then these little ATC type cards. Um, little journal cards that I um, I have this kit also in my shop, Shiny Treasure Designs. 
and that just tucks down into there. Okay, beautiful lace. Second page of the kit is a corset ad with roses. It's a vintage corset ad. Beautiful, beautiful page. Um, flip that over. Here's another one of those pages. Some more white and gold beautiful lace. Another one of the pages that I designed with the teacups and some script. It's just very, very elegant. Okay, more beautiful lace going down the edge. Here we have a real library card and pocket um, that I decorated up with appliques and bridal and lace and different things. And then a card, it's the real card, and I backed it to some coffee dyed paper to make it look old and vintage. Um, very shabby chic, very elegant. And that just fits right down into here. Just like that. Okay. In the story, she meets this young man at the ball. Lord Lindenmeyer is what I named him. Lord Lindenmeyer. And he takes a shine to her. And he sends her an invitation. And I'll show it to you. I have it in here. But he invites her to go to the opera. So this is an opera play. Um, and I printed it out on this beautiful... This is one of the pages that I've designed for my book. And it's got the Eiffel Tower. And I used it and I backed it onto this beautiful china and flowers and such. And I just love the way that looks. And then I added this beautiful lace from my stash. Okay, next page. Made this beautiful accordion file pocket. Um, and it's got a butterfly applique, little rhinestone. And I made this cute little, I had a receipt and I just backed it onto some cardstock, stitched around it, beautiful laces. Some of them have been coffee dyed. This beautiful die cut that was sent to me by Penny Kitzmiller. And then this little kit card from my kit. You can find that kit in my shop, Shiny Treasure Designs. Um, just love the way those look. Love that rose, beautiful. And you can journal on the back. And that goes down inside of there. This is another page. And I've created a little tab that goes over the top for a tuck spot. And this is the page. It's available in the kit. A little bit of embellishment at the bottom. I'll just stick that back up onto there. Okay, more beautiful lace. You've got writing space here. More beautiful lace. Here Isabel is at the ball. And beautiful lace matching her dress here. Okay. Here's this beautiful page. The pages are just so elegant. I just love the way they come out. Beautiful coffee dyed appointment page down in here. So whoever gets this can write their appointments down or write on it. This, see if I can remember. This may be, I think this is a receipt for, I can't remember. It's a receipt for some clothing, some cattle, or some jewels. And you can write on the back. And it is from 1793. So that's tucked down in, in, into there. And you can scan this into your printer. It is um, copyright free. You can scan it into your printer and reuse it. This beautiful page. And these are perfect if you like to collage and cut tags. They're perfect for that as well. Okay, this is a little booklet from the opera that I made. Okay, and you can scan this image in if you wanted to and reuse it also. Just a little mini 
a few pages of paper in there for writing, private writing. And some beautiful lace pocket here, lace be beautiful lace pocket, some embellishment there. The next page, beautiful. Okay, another Swarovski dangle. Beautiful lace. Okay, here I have this, you untie this and this opens up for private journaling. And you can also journal on the back. This also has the, uh, in those days, they had salesmen that would come around with these horse and carriages. And I, this is just some private journaling. Okay. Another one of those cards from the kit. Okay. And this is a pocket here. And inside of there, another vintage image. And again, it opens up for more private writing. Now, I got the ideas of these folds. They're not, they may not be exactly, they're not all exactly like the ones that Clemmy from Clemmy's Creations and Terry, no, G. Um, and I can't think of G's last name. I'll put the links below so you can find them. But I got some of these folds and ideas from them. And this is the Velcro that Velcro's closed. And then it just opens up. And this one is a 12 by 12 sheet for private journaling. And then it just folds back up. And then tucks back in. And Velcro's closed. And then you also have the pocket there. So let's put our things back into there. Okay, and then this is the next page. Okay, as you can see, they're very elegant, very pretty. And you can write here. Next, have this beautiful belly band with this little journaling card. Back, it's been coffee dyed, um, backed onto an index card. Okay. More beautiful lace. Okay. Here's another beautiful image, and if you have a magnifying glass and you can speak French, you can read the newspaper print that I used in the background for this image. More beautiful lace. The other side, this is a corset ad, um, and I added a rose to it and some lace, printed lace, and then I added some lace along the side here. And this is a bag at the top, and inside of there I have, and I did this letter myself, um, on some old book page, okay, and it, said, it stated September 20th, 1823, and it says, My dearest Isabel, and that's who I named the lady in here, My dearest Isabel, your presence is requested to accompany Lord Byron Lindmeyer as his guest to the Opera House on Friday evening. Friday evening, September 24th, 1823. The horse and carriage will arrive for you at 4 o'clock p.m. He has also requested you to be his dining companion at the Paris House restaurant before going along to the Opera House. He would most like to convey to you that he most enjoyed your company at the Grand Ball the other evening and is looking forward to seeing you again. And then, sincerely yours, Lord Byron Lindmeyer. Okay. I did that letter myself. You are welcome to copy it if you so choose. It is not copyrighted. Okay, here, another pocket. 
And in here I have this little journal card that I've created. It's been copy dyed to make it look aged. It goes right down in there. And then also another one of these vintage images onto some coffee dyed paper for more private journaling. Okay. The other side of that, oh, my stick pen came out, I'll have to put it back in. The other side of that corset page. I love the way these papers come out, and I had so much fun designing these, too. Okay, here we have another pocket, and inside of there, I have, it's dated September 13, 18 something, it's in the 1800s, and it's from the Hall House Coffee House by West Pole Street, and it's just a vintage receipt. And you can journal on the back, and I've put that in there. And another one of the little cards in my digital kit. Another page that in the kit that I've designed it says Mon Cherie. The Eiffel Tower, beautiful, beautiful china there, um, and it is backed onto, the images are all backed onto a French newspaper, and you can take a, uh, um, and a, I'm sorry, you can take a magnifying glass and you can actually read that if you speak French. I do not. Something about a musical, um, here, another pocket. Um, this is another vintage ad from the 1800s. And all I've done is backed it onto some coffee dyed paper and made this little journaling place. A beautiful tag that I've made. And I love this. Okay, I backed it onto some coffee dyed paper. And this is the original. This is not printed out. This is the original from um, the book that I got these from. Sears Motor Buggy. All speeds from 1 to 25 miles per hour. And it has a, a Victorian lady driving it. And it's $395. And it's why we build it as we do. I just thought that was so cute. Okay. And then this, you grab right here and here, and you fold it down. This folds up. You can journal here, fold it over, fold this up. You have private journaling there, and you have all this 8x11 journaling space. And you can see the coffee dyed, the, where the, cof, the doily was. It's a coffee dyed paper. Okay, and then you just fold it back up. This tucks back down into here. This tucks down into here, and then that goes down into there. Beautiful rolled rows here. Another page that I've I've done, and I just love it. Let me lift it up where you can see. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love it. I had so much fun doing this. Another one of these Swarovski beads dangles. Another page. Did we skip a page? Nope. Another page. Here we have this little beautiful little memo that I made with coffee dyed paper. Um, Thursday's child is sour and sad. It's Clark's ONT spool cotton. It's like th it's a thread advertisement. Though Thursday's child be sour and sad, Clark's ONT will make her glad. And I just stitched that onto the coffee dyed paper, added some lace at the top. This one, grab the Velcro here, flips out this way, Velcro there, flips down, these two flip up for 8.5 by 11 journaling space. And then it just folds back closed. 
And if a person didn't know, they would think that this was just simply a pocket. They would never know that you had something written in there. It's private. Another one of the pages in the journal kit. Beautiful lace pocket here. Um, this is the Our Acme Queen Parlor Organ, $27.47. Um, Sears Roebuck and Company. And I backed it on to the part of a card that I had. And it says, because I like to put something prayer related into every one of my journals. And it says, May God grant you his blessings to bring your heart peace. May his gentle love soothe you. His care never cease. Praying for you. And I just thought that was really neat. Okay. And then I have this pocket. And this just, a, it's a tag. You can, um, you can take the lace out of the top and it just flips and you can journal inside of there. Okay, and that just goes down inside of there. Here she is, they're at the ball. This is Lord Byron, Linda, My Linda Meyer. And it says, Bell of the Ball. And he has taken a shine to Isabel. Here's the lace, and I am so sorry, my allergies are just so bad. Here's another page. I need to put something here. I need to go back and put something there. Here's another page. This is again the um, from the opera. Okay, here. This just folds out this way, folds out this way, folds out this way, and then opens up into. 12 by 12 sheet of journaling. Fold that back down, fold that in, and then this goes over and Velcro's closed. And you can actually tuck something inside of there. Both up at the top and here. Another page in the digital kit. More beautiful lace. Writing space. The other side of that corset ad. This page, I've, I've designed this page. I took the corset ad and, and added um, a rose to it, some lace, beautiful laces, and made this page. More lace, more journaling space. And this is Isabel. Okay. Here, that's the end of Signature 1. Okay. Beginning of Signature 2. And again, I've taken this beautiful image. And in the background, it has the French newspaper. And it's talking about uh, music and something about a piano here. Um... Not sure what the rest of it is, though. But there's that page. And you can see the crown, the teacups, and all there. Have a pocket here. Inside of here, I have added one of my little tags with the slide-out tag into there. And it is also a bag at the top for storage. Over here, each signature has a bookmark. There's a little cellophane bag, and in there I've added a bookmark and some beautiful little paper for journaling on. Another Swarovski crystal. Another accordion pocket with a little journal a pocket here with a card. And that just slides back down into there. Um a little flip tag that opens for journaling and a little library card tag for journaling. Beautiful lace. 
another one of the beautiful pages in this journal that I designed, the digital kit. Journal space, more beautiful lace. Another one of the beautiful pages. You can see the Eiffel Tower, um, different scripts and texts and documents and receipts and stuff in the background. And then there's the teacup. Okay, here, another one of those beautiful little cards in my digital kit. One of my little dress form tags. Let's see, it's a card. It opens. I even added pearls at the top and some rhinestones to make a belt. And this just opens up, flips out, and it's actually, let me close it back up and show you again. It's a pocket here, and inside of here I have some little hearts to journal on. I think there's one, two, three little hearts there for writing on. This opens. See, there's a pocket. Then this, undo the Velcro, flip it out, and you have 12 by 12 sheet of journaling. Fold it back up, flip it back in, Velcro closed, and put your things back into your pocket. She goes down into this pocket and this little journal card goes into this pocket. These are perfect for ATC cards as well. On this page, beautiful rose in the background, beautiful bridles applique. I, I've layered some laces and another applique, little seed beads, and I got this idea from Belinda Coombs outlined my little applique with some beads, a little porcelain flower, the Eiffel Tower here, more seed beads here. Okay, and you flip that over, and there's this beautiful little heart, and you grab the Velcro, open it, and you have private journaling space there. This is a pocket, and inside of there, I've added one of these pockets with a tag that is tied closed. You just simply undo the, remove the ribbon, write what you want, and add it back, put it back into the pocket, and tuck it back into there. Here, you can see the page here, a music page with uh, lace printed on it. Um, and the name of the music was Love Will Show the Way. I've added some lace, made a pocket, and in that pocket, I've added this card. This is Isabel. Dressed it up with a little doily, little button, and seed beads. And it is blank inside for writing, and you can write on the back. And that just goes right back into there. Here we have this little trifold. I'm not going to untie it because for time's sake, because we're already almost at 30 minutes. But there's the bow, it ties closed, and it's just private journaling lace another one of the beautiful pages a rhinestone heart okay you turn that page and here's the dance and here's lord byron linden meyer dancing with isabella and here we have a little flip down for private journaling a little flip up for private journaling and a secret pocket right there and what they would do back in those days is they would keep a picture of their bow inside of there and no one would ever know it was there okay another page now let me explain on this page this page does not come with the colors I left it where you could color the dresses in um, the way that you want. I took my colored pencils, colored in the dresses and the um, the men and their suits and so forth on the couples that I wanted to bring forward. Otherwise, they look like this. Okay, here's another page with the Eiffel Tower, the crown, the pearls. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful page. More beautiful lace, journaling space. Here's another page. It says, this is the other side of that music page. It says, Love Will Show the Way. 
a little bow. This just comes out for private journaling and folds back up. This idea came from G. I will put her link below. I love this idea, G. I absolutely love it. The little hearts come out into little flowers for journaling. And they just stick right back inside of there. All four of them comes out. Isn't that just the neatest thing? Okay. And she has a um, video on how to do this. I will put the link below. Here is the Eiffel Tower. Some roses in the background. And I added, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. And then I took a few flower petals and just glued to the page here and there with a few little beads added to them. Kind of like in the uh, when you pick a flower and when you're like a teenager and you would pull the petals off and you would say, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. Okay, journal space here. Another one of the beautiful pages, Moncherie, backed onto all kinds of script, beautiful, perfect for collaging, cutting tags, or using as a journal page. More lace. Here, there's a pocket back here. There's a flip up here for private journaling. Another one of the pages in the kit. I just love the way these came out. More beautiful lace. Another, this is a bag. Okay. I haven't put anything in there because it got so chunky. Um, inside this pocket, I've added this little journal card. And this little flip. I need to fix that. Matchbox flip with the little paper in there for writing on. And I love these images. I love that paper. Okay. Alright. Another one of the pages. And another one of the Swarovski dangles. Okay. There's actually one, two, three, four, five of these little dangles here on the pages. Another pocket. This is another one of those flip tags you can undo it untie it here and it opens up for private journaling and that just goes down inside of there with the little laces dangling down and I believe this one is a bag on the side where you can store things and then here is the back page with the crown the beautiful china um, the bow and then here's the back side of the book um, hard and the back cover okay. so there's all your little dangles there um, little pin goes back into here I think that's the right place where I had it. Let me get it back to where I needed it to be. Well, I need to glue it again. I will re-glue that and tuck that in there. Um, but you see how beautiful it is. It's got the chunky charm with all the beautiful Swarovski and glass beads, the charms, and so forth. Um, and I've got company, so I'm going to end this here. God bless y'all. Have a good day, and bye-bye.